Hi everyone, Chris Anderson from Mount Comfort RV. Well, we're gonna do a little bit of a different video today. We are, good news is we're in a 2022 Newmar New Air 3543. And it's our first new air that we've gotten. Everybody knows things are just hard to come by right now. Uh, COVID has screwed up all supply chains for everything in our world, it seems like. So we're definitely not getting as many motorhomes as we used to, and we're definitely being allocated from Newmar because they're being allocated on how many generators they can get and, and every other supply and furniture and everything else. So that's the world we live in today. But since we're not first to the party, we'll see if we can do a video a little differently than just a standard walk around. I'm gonna do one of those as well. But before we do that, let's just talk about what changed because the new air did get a life cycle change. Every four or five years, coaches tend to get um, freshened up, if you will. And, and that's what's happened here. The new air came out. Originally, it was a 33-footer, no king bed options, only had the 360-horse engine in it. Uh, and, and that was 2018. In 19, they introduced some new things. And in 20, we got the king bed and, and, and so on and so forth. So um, 450 horsepower now, obviously, and, and, th and that remains the same. So the first thing, the 33-footers are gone. Uh, they just weren't selling once the 35 footer came out that was small enough for people and everybody likes that 450 horse engine and everybody seems to like the king bed so the 33 footers are no more uh, they do still make all three of the floor plans the 35 foot floor plans they made last year did carry over i've got this set up a little bit so we can show you some of the colors and everything and we're just going to go around to and show you what is new with the new air and there's a lot so bear with me let's get started First of all, there are, as always, they always change colors uh, each year. So here are our four paint schemes for the 2022 new air. The Kingsley, that's actually what's on this coach, and, and we'll get some better shots of that here shortly. Uh, the Sparta is next, and this color in here is kind of a green. It's really cool. Not a color you see very often on motorhomes. The Berkeley, if you're, if you're into more of the red tones, and then for your blues and grays and blacks, we have the New Air uh, Remy. So, and, and these are actually, I wanted to use these because these are actually painted by hand at Newmar. These are metal plates with actual paint on them as opposed to, you know, I have a flip book, but the graphics are on paper are just never as good as actually seeing something that's painted. So I wanted to show that. Let's go to our interior packages now. What we're standing in is a new air that's done in this Berkeley. So these are the colors used in here. So this is showing you the textiles, the fabrics and everything used in here. This is the, the countertop and this is the flooring. Next we have the Kingsley. We'll skip over the cabinets, we'll come back to those. Uh, Sparta, if you like, like some of the gray tones. And then even more gray is the Remy. Now you have four different wood choices, which is really eight different wood choices. And, and what I mean by that, the cabinets are all new this year, but each one of these counts as two choices because you can either do them in matte finish or high gloss. So what we have in this coach now is the Dover Rift, uh, and, and we did it in the high gloss. You can also choose the Mink Rift, the Toffee Maple, or the Tuscan maple. All right, so those are some of your choices that when you spec out a new air, you can, you can make it your own, personalize it for yourself. Yours can be like nobody else's. So that, that makes it very nice. Let's talk about some of the features and I'll try to walk around and show you those uh, that have changed between last year and this year. First off, the cabinetry. Okay, let's just, I'm gonna let him pan around, let Troy pan around. Uh, cabinetry is completely different. This actually is cabinetry like what was in a 2020 King Air. So this is a huge upgrade to cabinetry. These cabinets cost quite a bit more than last year's cabinets did. And it's a, it really changed the look of the coach. I think um, a little more modern. I think the new Air uh, before was a little more traditional. This put a little more modern spin on it. Next thing that's new and, and obvious and easy to see is the furniture. This is Williamsburg, Williamsburg furniture and the sofa, the driver passenger seats, all new. The booth is now an extendable booth. This does not make a bed. There is storage underneath this Euro booth. It's very comfortable.
Our dash monitors are bigger. These are 10 inch monitors now. They also have the new Navingo radio system in there, uh, navigation system in there, which uh, not only, it, just like the old setup, you can program it uh, to your sizes so it won't take you under bridges or down roads you don't fit on. But also the neat part about this, it's an Android based system and it will automatically update the maps forever. So, uh, and it does it over, um, over cellular. So you don't have to do anything. No, no messing with cards or anything like that. With our new screens, uh, that are, are bigger. They also put in for the first time, we have dual climate control up here. Obviously this is a feature most of us are familiar with with our automobiles, but it has not been featured uh, on, the, on the new air to, to date. So along with things like the digital dash and the push button start, you actually get dual climate control and that's, that's shown on the screen here where the drivers or the passengers uh, uh, controls are set at. So kind of neat that it's both displayed on the screen now and um, drivers and passengers don't have to be set the same. Our next little secret, we're gonna lift up what's behind the curtain. Looky here, some of you may have seen this before. Other manufacturers um, have used this system. This is called Mobileye. Mobileye is a, a version of, of like a collision avoidance or, or, or lane departure type technology. If you start to go out of a lane or, or, or forward crash is imminent, uh, it, it will alert you, but this one takes it one step further. It's actually tied to the vibration in the seat. It'll actually vibrate the seat to get your attention if you've crossed over a line uh, and, and that'll wake you up in a hurry. So uh, that's a nice new feature for, for 2022. Okay, so another new feature, and, and they had this in the, in the previous coaches, but it was in a bad spot to be fair. This is your mobile charging. So you can just pop your phone right in there. And if your phone is equipped like mine is, uh, it'll sit right there and charge. I like this so much better than before. Last, in the previous New Airs, it was sitting up here and it was flat. I took one of these New Airs to Texas one time and I will tell you that um, sitting there, you get a lot of sunshine coming in. Between sunshine coming in and my phone actually actively being charged, I picked up my phone and it was virtually on fire. Um, so it had gotten way too hot sitting, sitting there up in the sun like that. It, it just wasn't great. Um, this, the whole dash is new, newly redesigned, but that is probably my favorite new feature in the dash area because um, you can even see your phone there. Uh, not that I encourage uh, looking at texts or anything while driving a motor coach, but if something did flash across your phone, you could see it without really taking your eyes too far away from the road. So there we go. So new flooring, and I, this is probably my favorite new feature uh, in the coach. I, I was kind of getting tired of the, of the old shiny um, flooring that they used in the um, previous new airs. I liked it, but it was just, like I said, it, it was time for a change here. This is a matte finish tile. It's gorgeous, uh, and, and I just, I absolutely love it. Bring that up to brand new designs on the countertops as well. This has become more like the Ventana from the standpoint of you actually have 90 degree uh, sharp edges on there, gives everything a little cleaner look and a new backsplash. And then also some changes in the bathroom. We have a new bathroom sink and new shower walls. Next is our Samsung microwave convection oven. Last year, this was a Whirlpool. They've changed it. This actually has a lot of the features. If you're familiar with the GE Advantium model, this has a lot of those same features. This will cook like an oven, this will cook like a microwave, but it also has some of those same programmable features that the Advantium has. We'll get a look at it inside and out. Also completely redesigned, the ceiling. Obviously, this is our ductwork, also our lighting, all nicely featured so it doesn't look like ductwork and lighting but that's all brand new for this year. So we also have all new cabinetry in the bedroom so this is another page kind of out of a King Air here. The TV is recessed and flush mounted here which just makes it such a clean look. Again I, I think it's a, a little more nod to, to modern than it is to traditional. They've done a lot with rope lighting uh, in the closets, up under, uh, different areas. You don't really see it at first, but you do notice that this coach is better lit than it was uh, previously. And I didn't think it was bad before, so um, you know, very, very nice setup with all the lighting. 
The doors, both closet and washer dryer doors are completely new. Same washer dryer, new doors. And then another good example, when I opened that door, that rope light in there came on. Okay, we're gonna talk a little about the nightstands now because there's a new feature, and I read about this and I wasn't quite sure what it was referencing when it talked about putting the outlets inside the nightstand so the cords could, uh, I wasn't quite sure. So we'll have to get low in there. What you're gonna see, you've got an outlet back in there, but then at the top of the door, there's actually a little spot where the cord can be routed out of there. So you don't have to have your doors open to have things plugged in, like your cell phone charger, that type of thing. So nice feature there. And then next, look at our new doors. These are padded. They look awesome. The headboard has been completely redesigned. There used to be a window much lower in here and it had those little sliding doors. That, those weren't as well received as uh, Newmar had hoped. So they've gone to a more traditional look here. You've got the great window above, but a nice padded headboard. Okay, the next feature I actually kind of have to just tell you about because I don't have it yet, uh, but it, there's actually a new mobile app available. It's, it's available on Apple or Android phones that will allow you to do so many of the controls that your Silver Leaf has. So your tank levels uh, and, and that type of thing, uh, coach controls, um, lighting, turning lighting on and off, doing shade packages, all of that will be done on your phone now as well as on the, uh, on the touchpad in the hallway. So that's a great new feature. Also added, kind of reprogram this a little bit here. We've got a new feature here in the bedroom on the touch pad that just says all lights off. So you forgot to turn the light, light off up front. You don't have to walk all the way up front when it's bedtime. Just hit all lights off, walk away. That'll take care of you. Maybe the most noticeable new feature when you walk into this coach is the new bonded windows. Uh, using the bonded windows gives them the ability to give you more of a panoramic view. Uh, you know, no matter what we do, we couldn't get this much glass in there. So th these are huge pieces of glass that just meet at the corner post and they're bonded to the coach. Uh, these windows do not open. Don't worry, you still get plenty of ventilation in the coach. But you get, just get a tremendous view with this of, of, well, in this case, you see our dirty window and the coach next to us. But hopefully you'll be able to take this coach somewhere and find even better views. On the door side of the coach or the passenger side of the coach, you can see the bonded windows are here as well. And again, it's a bigger kitchen window, it's a bigger dinette window. We even have a tree out this side, so we're in pretty good shape there. Your, your views out this coach are just greatly improved by using the non-opening bonded windows. This is what those bonded windows look like on the outside. You can see they take up the whole, the whole available space and like I said, just really an improved look, a very high-end look, and something that I haven't seen before in a bus like this. Now, one of the comments I've heard are people who are concerned with bonded windows because they've been using these in the high-end buses for a long time, is that maybe you don't get enough ventilation. So I want to address that just a little bit. Keep in mind, you still have a storm door on the front of this coach and it's got a pull-down screen uh, on it. And then you, and that's a huge opening. And then you have two negative pressure fans, one here, one in the bathroom that move a lot of air. And if you, Want, if it's a nice enough day, I mean, let's face it, most of the time we take these coaches someplace where it's warm, probably gonna have the air conditioner going, so maybe having the windows open wouldn't be that feasible anyway, but if it is and it's a nice day and you really wanna enjoy the fresh air, turn on one or two of your negative pressure fans, open your storm door, You're, you will literally feel a breeze coming through the coach. It, it moves a lot of air that way, so you still get your, your fresh air when you want it. One of the new things that they do when they do a life cycle change is all new front and rear caps. It's actually one of the more expensive things to design and have made. So this has a little meaner look to it front and rear this year. Uh, so I think it's really sharp. One nice thing they did, this Newmar, I can't really demonstrate it right now, but the, the Newmar emblem is different. It lights up now. So they've, they're working with the LED lights to, uh, to make it an even sharper coach. But the front and rear caps are all new for 2022. For 2022, we've gone to the Oasis Chinook system instead of the standard Oasis system. This goes from about a 50,000 BTU uh, unit for heating water and heating your coach to an 80,000 BTU unit. So it's going to be able to do even better than the previous system did, and the previous system does very well. Thank you for watching our video on just what's new for the 2022 New Air. We also are going to do a full length walk around on this coach, so look for that video as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our page. Thanks again for watching.